It is finally time for Dead Rising. Sorry about all the delays, but this is a very big game. So big, in fact, that I needed some help. What's up, everybody? Ult Director Jester here, and I'm gonna do another game with him. Isn't that great? Let's, let's go kill some zombies. I'm excited. Oh, I am so ready to kill some zombies. And for those of you who want to play this yourself, the first game... Well, it's not as good as the second or the third one. It is actually kind of hard to get a hold of. You even either need the 360 version or the Wii version. We Ugh. recommend the 360 version. Yeah, no kidding, because the Wii version doesn't have zombies in it. Okay, so first thing, this is something I didn't know about until I started researching this. If you just start up the game and you see the first title screen, leave it for about uh, two minutes, about two minutes, 15 seconds. I sped this up here just because nothing changes besides those zombies actually do eventually mesh with the crowd there. But we are going to see a new trailer. Consumerism. <laughs> Walmart. Buying. Best Buy. Material possessions. Black <laughs> Friday. Dead Rising. One of the best zombie games ever made. Sweetie. I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie?
Dead Rising. <laughs> That's probably one of the best things about the loading screens. You get pictures of the current cutscene. So if there was a really funny face in there, chances are you're going to see it as one of the pictures. <laughs> this is going to be starting a brand new game. I'm starting at level one. No. Just, I was just making sure that the subtitles were on because if you were playing this on an SD TV back in 2006, you wouldn't be able to read anything. Yeah, in fact, I'm saying something right now I never thought I'd say about this game. Man, the text is really big. Hey, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking the helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Ghosts. Let's take a look at this beautiful scenery and take a quick picture of it. This yeah, it looks like looks like shit. Cancel the let's play. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So Dead Rising actually has a photography function. Go figure. Being a photojournalist, you need to take plenty of pictures. Each picture you take, depending on what is in it, you will get scored for different parts that are in it. For example, something bad was happening in there. It was brutality. Whenever you see a red circle, something, like, very violent is happening. Over at the playground? I'm just gonna stay here and watch him. No! I don't want a mosh! Get off! <laughs> he just came out of a rock concert. I suppose I should mention the really weird controls for using this camera. So, if you were playing a first-person shooter, how would you aim? Uh, with the right stick. With the right stick, and how would you pull up your camera? Um, I would push up. Well, you have to hold down the left trigger to use your camera, but that's when we're out onto the rest of the field. And, yeah, here's a good example of a very good brutality picture. I'll be showing you all the best pictures to get right at the beginning of the game. And another weird thing about your controls is you zoom in and out using A and B. You press X to take a picture. That is weird. It is very weird. They have tons of buttons on the 360 controller to use, but they chose the face buttons of all things. It's not business as usual in this town. Early console, you know. That was before they had the tropes of modern gaming. Well, yeah, before Call of Duty 4 changed everything. <laughs> Don't give me that. It was an innovator. Gears of War as well. Well, yeah, yeah. Here's another really good shot. If you actually get it from the back, you get more points because you can get more heads. Because you can see the people from behind the bus from that angle, which counts more somehow. Hey, man, just run with it. We're Frank West. We do whatever we want. His, his camera is magic. 
All sorts of magic. Have you seen him fight in Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Yeah. I'm not very good at it, so he sucks. <laughs> but I'm good at it. Here's another good shot. Take it right... BOOM! As it's exploding, you'll get high brutality points. Massive points. And even after the wreckage, you can still get some points, but you won't get as many as capturing the explosion. And every time you take a picture, even if it doesn't have a specific genre added to it, like brutality um, of being a funny picture, you'll still get points for it the same amount you would. It's just highlighting what was in that picture. And, it, you know, it might give you a couple more points, but even if it, that didn't say brutality, we would still get some pretty decent points for it. Just a nice bonus. And now for one of the best ones to get some really good points with. And it's very unfortunate that this person has to go this way. I like this scene, though. This is really cool. Something out of a generic zombie movie, but I like it all the same. Bet you can't guess what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this time to go grab my copy of Dead Rising. Hold on. I'm gonna go over here for a minute. <laughs> oh, really? Depending on what she does, you'll actually get a different amount of points, and there's one I'm trying to get. And... Right there. Oh. When she fires the gun, you get brutality points. Ah. Well, uh, I don't know if your copy still says this, but my copy of Dead Rising has a little sticker on the bottom that says, This game was not developed, approved, or licensed by the owners or creators of George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. That is correct. Mine says that as well. This People consider this a ripoff of Dawn of the Dead. Which is kind of crap. Oh! There it is. That will give you the most brutality points in this situation, and when she calls for help, you will get drama points. But, and like a good hero, you just stand there and watch her die. Exactly. You take pictures of her death. Plaster them all on the journalist sites everywhere. Uh, we'll also say when you take a picture of her splattered on the ground, that you'll get even more brutality points. You're the hero. I think this cutscene has the best line in it. If this is the one I'm thinking of. on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me. Man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. Down to that rooftop. I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Hello there. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah, no. Uh, you... came alone? Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. 
It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Time to go over some simplicities of Dead Rising. I turned the tutorials off temporarily because I hate the ones that happen right at the beginning of the game. If you press left on the D-pad, you can look at your watch. This is where you can find your missions that will come up a bit later, and we'll get more into that when we start getting missions. Another thing about Dead Rising, depending on how many pictures you take of specific people, specific places, you will get more points. Every picture you take, you will get points if it's worth something like a person. Like Carlito here, he'll give you 100 points, but this will also add to a different tally, getting achievements. If you take a picture of 50 survivors, you will get an achievement for it. Well, neat. Let's go ahead and uh, cut out that easy saving. Just want to show if you ever see a bed or a bathroom, that's a good place to save. And you're going to want to save in this game. It was specifically designed to be hard your first time around. Oh, shit. What in the world? You want to know the worst thing about a game like this? You start out slow, not very powerful, easily killed. And that's how Dead Rising was designed from the ground up. It was made so that you could not beat it your first time through. But I am here to prove it wrong. I am here to prove the game wrong, that it can be beaten starting from level one and not dying through the whole game. Taking bets now. Nesco thinks he can beat it in one go. I think he can't. Bring it on. No time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself beaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? <laughs> There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. I love how Frank's just not having any of it. He's just like, oh, fine. <coughs> <coughs> Going over what else you can do. If you get a large number of heads, 
you can get some massive points. Wow! Perfect. Now, the other scoring technique that you'll probably see your first time around is horror. That's just basic zombies when they're not attacking, not doing anything, they're just standing around. That's when you'll get horror points. Is that when you take a picture of the mirror, too? Yes. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drama points are the orange one. That's if somebody's, you know, having a crying fit, if they're not doing very well. And the conversations here are actually really, really funny. <laughs> Especially the last one we're going to look at. It's one of those where if you were to walk into this conversation in real life, you'd just be like, okay, geez, fucking jeez, man. This is, this bitch is inconsolable. <laughs> Aww. See her see her uh Verlene's there trying to be like, no, it's okay, come on, you know, we're we're gonna get through this, you know, we're safe now. She's like, We're gonna die! My God, we're so hope! We are so screwed! I'm ready to beat those zombies to death. That's why I'm all the way back here. <laughs> exactly. We will be keeping track of any achievements that I get. I'm not aiming for any or all of them. If they happen, they happen. If they don't happen, they don't happen. In fact, you could get another achievement right now. This couple right here. Oh, Ser yeah, these th these guys are great. Seriously, the best couple. Big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> not even moving their mouths. Every time something goes wrong, you have to raise your voice. I never should have married you. You want to split up then? This part Sounds kills it great. for me. I can't wait to see the look on your face when those zombies Ooh. eat you. It'll be hilarious. Push <laughs> out! Push out! Sorry, I got a little thing in my throat. Holy shit. Huh? You! Right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the? Alright, now for the fun part. Dead Rising players know this all too well. Anything you can pick up, use it to destroy everything, including survivors. So there's an example. Brad Reynolds is dead! Yeah. Todd Vandal is dead! This gets really annoying seeing everybody just. Mark Cremata is dead! Everybody dies. All of Kathy them. Kathy Peterson is dead! <laughs> Dana Sims is dead! If you want basic controls, this is where it gets weird. You have to hold the right trigger in order to hold something up to throw it, and this, then press X to throw. It gets weird. And something else, some items have an alternate attack. So let's say, for example, if you just press X normally with the baseball bat, you can hit them normally. Normal damage, they'll die. I mean, oh, sorry, hun. Oh! Uh, you'll hit them, uh, <laughs> you'll hit them, uh, oh, sorry, hun. I didn't mean to do that. But if you hold X, you can do a wind-up attack, and it'll get you extra points. Really, Willis is dead! <laughs> Not for uh, survivors, but on zombies, you'll get a hundred extra points. There are a few Snack. hidden items around here. I'm going to try to get them and show what you can do with them here at the beginning. He's taking this very casually, Frank. <laughs> He's just kind of dum 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 dum. Frank has the most casual stride. I mean, not even the zombie apocalypse can deter his stride. 
That's a lot. Yes. I'm still getting I'm still getting my shopping done though. That's not stopping <laughs> me. St still gotta hit the mini mall, you know. Gotta get what I need for the apocalypse. In here Good. is, believe it or not, an item I want. There it is. The iron pipe. I am iron pipe. I'm going to show off as many weapons as I can, but there are a lot of weapons. So let's Good. say, for example, right here with the iron pipe, it has two functions. Another secondary attack that you can get extra points for. So instead of hitting them regularly, let's get this guy right here. Let's give him an extendo metal dick. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God, that's not right! <laughs> that's not right! That gets you 30 extra prestige points, so use them wisely. That should not <laughs> be legal! <laughs> All right, so right here, here's the other item. This is the one you should go for immediately. A shotgun! Yes! Yes! All right. Oh, this is bad. This is actually very bad. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, shit. Run. There we go. All right, yes, just get out of the way. Just eat my Cheetos. There we go. <laughs> eat my Cheetos, fire my gun. America! <laughs> <laughs> All it's missing is an American flag cape. There we go. Now, another thing you can do, if you do it quick enough... Oh! Uh -huh. Yes. Oh! You can get horror points for headshots. Exploding nice. heads can get you points. And other than that... That's all the weapons. We can take a nice shot here, and this is a good example of if zombies are too far in the background, you won't catch them in the picture. Even though they're clearly there, you won't get the points. That's all the weapons? A shotgun, a bat, a 2x4, a, a TV, a bench, and that's it? So far. Oh, okay. Okay, there was actually one more weapon. Mark Ramon is dead! And there. S oh. Stick that arm in their mouth and you get humor points. <laughs> so right here, let me show this one more time. And there. With the 30 extra prestige Think. points, you will actually get brutality for that. I'm surprised you didn't get erotica for that one. <laughs> we'll get erotica later, thank you very much. And uh, what happens if you die in the opening? Well... Have you ever done this? I have. Yeah. I think just to see what would happen. You... You saved me? Thanks. Looks like I owe you one. <laughs>